part of the bottom of that lineup was Nate Fryman, who was standing by downstairs. And uh, Nate, let's start with the double off Dickey. You were behind in the count, and Dickey, the only knuckleballer in the league, we know how good he is. Tell us about your approach in that situation and your approach against Dickey, the knuckleballer. We had we had guys in scoring position there with with less than two outs. Infield was back. Once I got to 2 there, I really had to stop trying to trying to drive the ball and just trying to think about hitting something in play because there are a lot of ways to score that run as long as you hit it. So I was just trying to make contact right there. I wasn't trying to pull it or, or hit it in the gap, just hit it somewhere. Nate, there's a lot been talked about in your approach to hitting. You know, I had an opportunity to watch you win in the minor leagues, and you hit for a lot of power. When you came to this club last year, it appeared that you sacrificed power to be a better hitter. You go down to Sacramento this year. At the time you get called up, you've already hit 14 home runs. What's been the difference for you as a hitter last year opposed to this year? Last year, it was an unbelievable experience being here, getting to play, and I was just trying to make contact, do the best I could to help out in the days I was in there. But going to sack this year for the first couple months, playing every day, I, I was really trying to have the bats to, to drive the ball and knock people in and be productive that way. So got a lot of great work down there, and it, it was helpful. Well, Nate, we got to ask you about the crazy play in the second inning. And it certainly looked like you tagged the runner. The, 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 the umpire said you did not. But to kind of take us through the play as best you can, because really it was one of the strangest plays we've seen all year. In a, in a bases loaded situation with one out, I'm going to home right there. I fielded it. I kind of flicked my glove up just to just to see if if I could tag him. I I was going home all the way. I didn't I didn't think we we got the call there. I I just wanted to make sure that out at the home plate and it it unfolded in a strange way. But but luckily the game turned out in our favor anyway. Nate, you know last year when you brought were brought here was more or less in a platoon situation hitting mostly against a left-handed pitching. The skipper has shown some confidence in you this year, running you out there against a couple of right-handed, tough right-handed pitchers. How does that make you feel as an everyday player? It's great. Just anything I can do to, to help the team, whether that's whether that's play first, whether that's to pinch hit platoon. I'm, it's just such an, such an honor to be here, and any way I can help out, it's, it's awesome. Well, you're doing a great job, Nate. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. All right, so. Well,